What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction on this channel, man. Listen, today we're about to be getting into this oh so very intriguing video, man. Okay? Now, if you guys don't know, we reacted to a video a little while ago of Brittany Renner scamming the basketball player PG, PJ Washington. I don't even know his name, honestly speaking. But um, she literally got with this dude, got pregnant, and then just left him. And now, she, now he has to pay her like two hundred thousand dollars a month on child support. God damn, my nigga, that is tough. Two hundred thousand a month in child support is wild, bro. That is an insane amount of money per month. Like what? These bitches are trifling. But we found this video right here. Brittany Renner says that she's not even sorry for what she did to P.J. Washington. <sighs> this is exactly why I tell y'all, man, <laughs> fellas, you can't. <laughs> Listen, I know I got girls watching this video, so I don't want to be too disrespectful, but I'm just going to say this, fellas, you can't trust these, these fucking, ah, bro, these girls are different nowadays, bro, these girls are very different, very money oriented, not all women are like that, let me just say that, let me, let me, let me clarify that, not all women are like that, but when you got a mother, when you got a girl like this, It's just like, okay, okay. But look, we're about to hop into this video. I'm curious to see what she has to say, man. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. But let's get into it, man. I don't know who needs to hear this. We, we don't need to hear it. But we're, 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 we're going to listen to it, man. Stand your ground. It's sacred. So when you stand your ground, you stand in your truth. When you stand in your truth, you stand in your power. And when you stand in your power, <laughs> Come to a place where I've just accepted that my light is so bright that it causes all the roaches to scatter. Powerful message from Brittany Renner, the thought herself. What did this just say? Very powerful message from the thought herself. My darling, when you're, when you're, oh, my darling, when are you going to realize that being normal is not necessarily virtue, it rather denotes lack of courage? That is true. This is a very true quote. When are you going to realize that being normal is not necessarily a virtue? It notes a lack of courage. That is very true. It is very true. But let's continue. I'm to a place where I've just accepted that my light is so bright that it causes all the roaches to scatter in places they thought they could hide. It's just me being me. It just causes such an uproar. Like loving yourself is such a rebellious act these days, you know? <laughs> But I'm here to tell you, I am so not sorry. <sighs> I mean, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> oh, angel number is what you're trying to say? Angel number 222? <sighs> That's tough. Does anybody else get irritated by the way that she speaks, or is that just me? I don't know. Is that just me, or is it like the 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 way? I tell that start. Like, is it just me? Like, the way that she just. Place where I've just accepted that listen, listen my light story. is so bright that it causes all the roaches to scatter in places they thought they could hide. Hide. It's just me being me. It just causes such an uproar. Like, loving yourself is such a rebellious act these days. These days. Listen, Brittany. We all knew. Everybody knew. She even made a video. We have an... I want to react to this other video that I came across as well. It says, Brittany Renner says that she settles down but can't settle. Okay? Now, the only reason why I want to react to this with you guys is because in the video that we watched about Brittany Renner, um, like, scamming PG, PJ, whatever, whatever, whatever his name is, the basketball player. She made a video a couple years ago and she literally said, she literally said that she's only fucked a couple regular guys and she's fucked a couple industry like entertainers and actors and shit like that. But she said that if you want to get a free ticket, a free come up, just mess with an athlete because they're dumb. And that's exactly what she did. So I'm curious to see what she, what she says in this video that says, Brittany Renner says that she will settle down, but she can't settle, man. She over here poking that little thigh out. I'm not going to lie. She look body-wise, you know what I'm saying? Physically, she looks good. Her personality makes her look like shit, bro. 
Like, this is the type of girl, if she was right here, butt, booty, back, naked on my sofa asking me, I would still say no. That's this type of girl. I would, I would not give her the time of day sexually, emotionally, ment mentally, nothing. I, this girl, right, this is a demon, my boy. You have to stay away from women like this, bro. You have to. Like, I've come to the realization that women like this are the, like, get away, run. If she, <laughs> listen, run. Bro, not everything looks good is good. Just know that. But look, we're about to hop into this video. All right. A lot of people <sighs> have been asking me, when are you going to settle down? Are kids in the cards? Are either one of these things thoughts that you have? <sighs> okay. Let me start off by saying having a husband or a family does not validate me as a woman. Oh. Okay. There's that. Second of all, time is an illusion. And I am not going to have a kid based on what outside pressures want me to do for the sake of not being seen as being crazy. That's fair. There is no rush. <clears throat> I can say this, though. That statement about having a family doesn't validate you as a woman. That's exactly what it does. Like, that's it. Like, having a family, like, is the most precious thing in this world. Having a kid is the most precious thing in this world. It's like, if you're comfortable just being you and living your life and not having anybody else in your life that you can call family, call your own family, it's like, what do you do? You're lost, realistically. The older I get, the more I understand. A demon, my nigga, goddamn. When I was 20, 21, I thought, hey, you know, at 25 years old, I mean, I'm probably going to at least have somebody in my life and maybe a kid by then. That'd be the perfect time. And thankfully it didn't happen for me at 25 because I was nobody, with a gaslighting prick. Because nobody wanted you. <laughs> nobody wants you. Here's the thing that's funny to me is society wants you to respect yourself. Love yourself, queen. Right? And when you start doing that, Everyone looks at you and it's like, God, like you have to stick up your ass. Like, why are you like this? Like, you need to come up off them standards a little bit, you know? And <laughs> it's like, okay, so you want me to love myself or you want me to conform to what it is you think I should be? And it's not a question because uh, there's only one answer I'm choosing, okay? I'm very non-traditional, but I would like that part of my life to be more traditional. Everything in life is forever changing and there is nothing that is guaranteed. So I could do everything right. I could date someone, we get engaged, we get married, we have a family. And that doesn't exempt me from still being a single parent. So I don't think that there's a foolproof <laughs> way to... <laughs> Did y'all hear that shit, bro? <clears throat> get engaged, get married, get married, get married, get married. The one, the one guy that gave her that chance... The one guy that gave her the kid, she played him, bro. Played him as a fool. Played him. On one side of her mouth, she's saying she doesn't want to lower her standards. Okay, that's cool, queen. You know your worth, respectfully. But at the same time, know your worth, <laughs> respectfully. A lot, of, a lot of people, when they hear know your worth, they say, okay, I'm worth this, I'm worth that. When they're really not. I'm sorry to say it. But know your worth means be real with yourself in both aspects. Know what you're deserving of and know what you're not deserving of. I'm not going to date a dot. I'm not going to be the one to cuff a girl who let 3,000 niggas hit. What? You're not worth the ring. To me, at least. Not to me. She's, you're not worth loyalty to me. You already let 3,000 niggas hit. That's, you're not worth it to me. And for her to think, no, know your worth. <laughs> Listen, sweetheart, rethink that, reevaluate yourself, know your worth. You feel me? So she did get pregnant, and she played the dude. That's funny. About any of these things, I think when it's meant to happen for you, it will happen for you. I want to be with someone who respects me and loves me you have the that. same way I do them. You have Everyone's that. like, oh, every guy cheats. Okay, well, if every guy cheats, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life because I cannot and I will not. I can settle down, but I can't settle. I never 
was with a guy that I looked at and was just like, wow, I cannot wait to have a son like you. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm like, fucking demon ass baby. <laughs> like, there's no way I could ever be tied to you for the rest of my life. Let me go swallow this plan B really quick. Whoa. You know, even when I was reckless, I was still cautious, right? But, um, <laughs> I would want, I guess, above all, to be with someone who cares about me. And if we didn't end up together, at least be with a man that I wouldn't <laughs> mind having a son like. And, of course... <laughs> In true Pisces nature, I want the fairy tale. I don't care if you don't think the fairy tale is real. What my fairy tale is in my mind and what yours is might be different. So you might think that that you're never going to get the fairy tale. Well, I'm not going to get the fairy tale from you, but someone's going to give it to me. Okay, I believe in staying aligned with what I want. Delusional. This bitch is delusional. If it comes, it comes. It's fucking delusional, bro. Um, either way. All I can do is stay aligned with what I want and see what happens. You know, I'm a manifester. I'm a creator. I'm a witch. Where there's a witch, there's a way. A relationship. Nah, that's not, I gotta go. That was some bruja shit. That was some demonic witch demon shit she's trying to put on to me. I gotta go. I'm not here for that shit. I'm, I'm here to... Hey. I'm living a good life. 20... Hey. Uh, I don't want that shit. Where there's a witch, there's a way. Bitch. Where there's a witch, there's a bitch. The fuck is you talking about? But look, man. I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure I do leave a like down below and subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.